In this video, we're going to combine Drupal for Facebook and Display Suite to show Facebook comments for our news articles. So, to recap, we are going to remove the regular comments and replace them with Facebook comments. So we already have Drupal for Facebook installed, and now we just need to integrate Facebook comments on our nodes, which we will do with Display Suite. So what we want to do is create a new field that we'll use on articles. So I'll go to the Fields tab, and I'm going to add a code field. Call it Facebook Comments. That machine name looks fine. I'm going to use this on our nodes. Leave the limit field for now. And now we need to know what to put in this field code field. So to do that, I'm going to go back and look at the Facebook page for this Comments plugin. So, you can configure how many posts you want and how wide you want this to be, but what we really need to do is get the code. Specifically, we want the XFBML version. I'm going to copy this code here. Drupal for Facebook takes care of including the JavaScript SDK and taking care of the XML namespace. So you really just need this. Copy that, and switch back. Paste it in. Now you can see this isn't going to work exactly the way we want it to because every time we load this, it will use example.com, which is not very helpful. We're going to delete that and replace it with a token that will draw in the correct URL for whatever page this field is being displayed on. So I'm going to click Use Tokens, and then here are the tokens. Again, there's a lot of them. The one we're looking for specifically is under Nodes, and it's Node URL. So if I click that, it's pasted in right where my cursor was, up here. So I can close this field set and save this. Okay, so the new field is available. Now I just need to place it. So we'll go and manage the display of the article. And we'll replace the Drupal comments field with Facebook comments. Okay, we're all set there. Save that. And now we'll go back. I'm going to click and hold on my back button. And go all the way back to this article. And reload the page, just to be sure. So we'll scroll down and see if the Facebook comments worked. Hmm, don't see anything yet. Okay, I'm going to check something out here. Under the Facebook settings, here under the JavaScript SDK, there are a couple of checkboxes to look at. Specifically, this one, get login status when initializing JavaScript. As you can see here, this technique is recommended by Facebook, however, it has lots of bugs. We're just going to try this and see if it helps. Turning this off, and nothing more. Once again, we'll go back to that article, reload the page, and there we are. So this might take a little bit of configuring to make sure that it works right in your context. But we now have the Facebook Comments social plugin working, and this will work on any of our articles. And we didn't have to write any modules or really add much code at all to make this work. So that's how to combine Drupal for Facebook and Display Suite to get Facebook Comments onto your nodes.